Good morning, everyone. Thank you, uh, Curtis, for the kind introduction. 30 days in Phoenix from Chicago? You've arrived in heaven, friend. Get that guy a Diamondbacks hat, please. By the way, whether you're a White Sox or a Cubs guy, we got both of them for spring training here in, uh, here in our region, so we're, um, uh, we're good. And we, we, we really appreciate our partnership with uh, J.P. Morgan Chase. I want to thank uh, the Cronkite School of ASU for hosting this incredible event, this gathering of people from around the country and the world to talk about uh, globalization, increasing global trade, what can it do for our uh, economy. It's apropos that we are here in the heart of the city at ASU. This, is, this building was built in a complete partnership between the city of Phoenix and Arizona State University. Not that many years ago, this wasn't here. This was an empty uh, space, but the citizens of Phoenix, through a bond election, decided that an investment, a city investment in higher education was incredibly important for the future of our uh, uh, economy. When I ran for mayor, I ran as someone who wanted to be as supportive of education as possible. Some people thought, oh, come on, you're trying to make an issue that really isn't an issue in a, in a city race. And my response was, there is no city in the country, in my humble opinion, that has done more to partner with higher education than the city of Phoenix. And we have this great uh, university uh, to prove it, and it will continue to grow with a law school coming downtown. We're partnering with U of A and their Eller College of Management to bring their graduate business school to the heart of the city, and the list goes on and all. I want to thank every single one of you for being here. All of us in Phoenix appreciate you, you being at this important event for this exchange of ideas. I want to say a special thanks again to J.P. Morgan Chase and our friends at the Brookings Institution for what you are doing to work with cities like Phoenix and cities around the country through this Global Cities Initiative. You've already done so much to help other cities and regions and their economies as a result, and our nation's economy is stronger because of your voice and your leadership. Now, we are here to exchange ideas. This is going to be a passive event. It's going to be an active participatory event. We're here to learn from those who have already had a great deal of uh, experience, to learn from those who have had a great deal of success, some of the best minds in the world when it comes to the issue of trade, international trade. Carla Hills, looking forward to hearing from uh, you. Secretary uh, Bill Daly, thank you for being here in uh, Phoenix, making time for this important event. Uh, Amy Liu, who you're going to hear from in just a moment, from the Brookings Institution. I guess Bruce Katz was not able uh, to make it, but I hope he has a chance to watch this video because Bruce, if you keep writing books that saying that cities are the center of the universe, I'll keep buying your books, friend. <laughs> and we're here to take an honest look at where we are in Phoenix today and begin to begin to shape a path forward. There's still a lot we have to figure out, but I want to make sure that there is no doubt that in Phoenix, we are committed to making a transformational change in our economy transitioning from an over-reliance on a narrow set of industries and a consumption-based economy to one that is rooted in innovation and is export-based, a global uh, economy. This year, Phoenix will open its first ever trade office outside of our city, and it will be in Mexico City. We're partnering with the Arizona Commerce Authority, our local universities, both ASU and U of A, and other regional partners, because we know we can be more effective as we work together. Barry Broom and uh, GPEC, have, they've been incredible partners and have led the way on local efforts with the Global Cities Initiative and so much more. Your staff really has been incredible, Barry, and I owe you a huge debt of gratitude. In the eight trade missions that I've personally made to Mexico since becoming mayor, I couldn't have had better partners than many of those in the room here today, the Phoenix business community, Greater Phoenix Chamber of Commerce, the Arizona Chamber, our Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, Arizona uh, Diamondbacks have come along, and many, many more have been there every step of the way. Each of them has done much to change the perceptions about Arizona and to build relationships that were unfortunately damaged by some divisive legislation that made its way through our uh, legislature. And at the city, we're going to do more to partner with the business community. We know that many of our local businesses who want to export sometimes don't know how or even where to begin to look for help. We're working to change that and enhance and elevate the export readiness of every Phoenix company that wants to do business abroad. We're developing the city's first ever export readiness initiative. We're leveraging existing resources, strengthening our partnerships with the U.S. Commercial Service, the Arizona Commerce Authority, and most importantly, give every Phoenix business the tools it needs to compete in the global economy. There's no doubt that we have challenges here locally. And we don't take those challenges lightly. It pains me that from 2007 to 2012, 
Arizona was the only state in the country to see its exports fall. We have to get our college attainment rate up, especially among our uh, growing Hispanic population, because they are a critical, essential part of our future. Their success is our success. But I'm optimistic that we can get on the right course because we have so much going for us uh, as well. We have top-notch entrepreneurs and an emerging entrepreneur ecosystem that is giving new life to our region. We have the right leaders in the business community committed to making the transition that we need. We have great leadership at our state universities, President Michael Crow and Ann Weaver Hart at the University of um, uh, Arizona, Dr. Crow obviously at ASU. They're already working to make sure that both schools play a huge role in our Valley's innovation uh, future. We see a thriving and growing Grand Canyon uh, University in West Phoenix and soon to be open uh, in Mesa as well. Again, increasing the college attainment of our population. That is nothing but a good thing for our future. We're seeing a change in how our political leaders are approaching the economy. We're starting to break that mindset of competing against each other. We have a, we have a set of mayors and council members across the region who uh, get it. I saw Marie Lopez Rogers from uh, Avondale. She and I are working together in, in a leadership capacity through uh, Velocity. I saw Andy Sherwood from the uh, city of uh, Glendale. Uh, I saw Bob Littlefield from Scottsdale. I know I'm missing others um, uh, as well. But I want to say, as mayor of the city of Phoenix, I'm proud to have each of you as our uh, partners. Uh, I want your cities to be hugely uh, successful. Again, your success is our success. We will sink or swim as a region not as individual uh, cities, and I am proud to be your collaborator. Competing against each other doesn't work anymore because all of us together competing, it's all of us together competing against other regions, not just around the country, but of course uh, across the globe. There are many great things happening here, and we want more great things to happen in Greater Phoenix. Today is an important part of that, and I am very excited, just as I hope you are, to hear from all of our distinguished panelists today. Thank you everyone for taking the time to, uh, to be here at this very, very important event with the Global Cities Initiative. It is now my honor to bring next to the podium uh, a person who has sort of, we wouldn't be here without you. Uh, she is the uh, founder of the, of the uh, Metro uh, Export Economy P Project at uh, Brookings. I hope I got the name right, but she is the one that is guiding regions around the country uh, towards a more positive future economy by utilizing the global uh, economy. And the number one thing we can do as a region uh, to, to, to be a more global economy is have leaders who think more globally, think in a global context, think in an international context. And Amy, you have helped this region to do it. You've helped me to be a better leader in that regard. So without further